Pendo's product data is designed to be immediately actionable through the delivery of in-app messages directly in your interface. This means that you can provide contextual help, feature walkthroughs, or outreach based on what specific users are doing in your application. But what about outside your app? How can you use Pendo's product data to trigger user outreach through email or some other channel? One easy way to do this is through our Zapier integration. This video will walk through how to set up the integration with Zapier and show you how you can use it to send an outreach email to users of your application who have not logged in in the past month. The Zapier integration is based around a visitor report in Pendo. In this example, we'll create a report that pulls together a list of visitors who have been absent for the past 30 days. That list is passed to Zapier, where an email action is triggered for every visitor in the report. In this example, we're sending an outbound email, but you could use the visitor report information to trigger an action in any other Zapier-supported application as well. To begin, we'll set up the integration with Pendo in Zapier. We begin by creating a new Zap and then searching for the Pendo app. Next, we will need to connect our Pendo account by adding our API integration key. Note that this is different than the account key that you use to install Pendo in your application. If you do not have an API key, please contact our support department. Next, Zapier asks us to provide the visitor report that we would like to use for the Zap. Let's go into Pendo now to create the report. We'll go to the Visitors page and click on the Visitor Reports tab and select to create a new report. We'll create a report that pulls a running list of visitors that have been absent for 30 days or more. To do this, we'll first create a new segment. Using the Last Visit Visitor field, we'll create a segment whose last visit was not within the last 30 days. We'll specify the date range for the report to be at least 30 days as well, and select the email and last visit fields for the report. In order for the outbound email to work correctly, you'll need to make sure that your report is returning a valid email field if it's separate from your visitor ID. Once the report is complete, we can get the report ID directly from the URL. Just copy the full string that appears after the visitor list. Back in Zapier, we'll paste the report ID and begin building our email. In the next screen, we're prompted to test the integration with the report. Zapier will check to see that it can pull usable visitor information. Next, we'll select the application to send the email. You can use any email app that you would like. For this example, we'll use Zapier's built-in mail functionality. Once that's selected, we can begin filling in detail for the email. We'll use the email field from the visitor report for the address. Then in the body of the email, we'll insert the last visit date. To complete the email, we'll specify a specific reply to address. Now the email is complete. To start executing the zap, we'll just name it and turn it on. With the Zap running, it will check the visitor report every five minutes and trigger the email to every new user whose last visit was greater than 30 days ago. That's it. Now we're not only putting data to work in our application, but we're also using it to trigger offline outreach to our users where necessary. If you have any questions about this integration or other integrations that Pendo supports, please visit support.pendo.io. Thanks for watching.